I was never like the guy that got girls and did all this. I was just a like nerdy jujitsu jiu- guy, you know. Right. Like, back then, no one even was like, "What the fuck are you doing? You're really training." Like you're well, like kids in high school don't understand. Well, like, let's talk. So that's it's very interesting you're saying this because yeah. that's where I wanted this to go. Talk us through like old Dylan Danis. What did your training look like on a day to day basis? So before I went to Marcel's, it would be go sleep through school still or just look at stuff yeah. and then go to train and I would take every single jiu-jitsu class they had like literally I would go to the gym at four do the four to five five to six six to seven and I wouldn't stay all day really and then like uh, back then I didn't drive so either my sister would drive me or my mom or my grandma or guys I actually had a really close friend at the gym that would uh he was a really cool guy actually and he passed away so but he uh he used to drive me and bring me back home and he was really like like big part of my career a lot of the guys there were some good guys in, in my life but uh mm-hmm. he ended up committing suicide like recently as so i was thinking about oh, it but shit. yeah he was a really good guy and he used to drive me to practice and always train with me and always like hype me up and you know there were certain people that like had my back and always gassed me up and uh, i appreciate that but like yeah so i would just train all day like that and then at one point i got really good and then i would go to the so what i would do was i would go to school and then i would go on the train from the house i would watch at a train station go to Manhattan early and the training for Marcel's was like six to seven. So I would have to wait in the city. I would sit at like a Panera bread, go just like get food or maybe just stay on my phone, wait, train. And then I would have to go get the train at nighttime by myself at like nine, 10 o'clock, come back on the train. And then I would get home at like one o'clock, go back to school. And I would do that every day. Yeah. So you, that's I'm, how I met Munchik because I, I used to go train on Marcel's and he was training on Marcel's. I was younger. I was in high school. So you leave high school, go right to the city. Yeah, so I would take the train. So I think I would get out of school at like 2.30, and then I would make the train at like 3.30. And I used to just be in the city up by myself and just go train on Marcel's every day. That's in. And yeah. did you ever feel like you had to force yourself to do it? Or you wanted to do it? Like I mean, training, it definitely sucks. I mean, just doing the traveling. But, I mean, I I, I love training with better guys. It was just like it was just like a, a adrenaline rush. Because, like, when I got really good at a certain, age, a certain point, and you train jiu-jitsu, so some people that train don't understand this, but... It's more people just staying away from you, not wanting to get tapped. And that wasn't fun for me. Yeah. And then when I started to go against better people where it was like more like, you know, like just higher level and good roles. And that's fun because it's not fun when you go with someone, they don't want to roll with you and they're just trying to stay away and do that stupid yeah, shit. Yeah. It was a bunch of older guys that didn't want to get tapped. And they're, it was just boring at one point because I was getting so much better. So then when I started to get that, I was just like, oh, I can't wait to go train with these guys, you know? So I just need to get through the school day. That was the worst part. Right. Okay. And so I, you're saying that's what happened at AMA. You felt like you were kind of. It was like a big your... fish in a small pond. At yeah, one yeah, point, yeah. when I got it, started to get older and got better, you know. Who recommended Marcellus to you? I just knew I, I was a jiu-jitsu oh, fan. Knew I knew Marcellus, and I went and I tried it out. And the first thing I was round, rolling with like Ryan Hall was my partner and stuff that's like crazy. that. So like I, I was like, I, I think my mom brought me the first time, and I was like, I had to be here. And right. she got me a membership, and like ever since I was like, oh, I, yeah. And then so you you stayed at Marcelo's for and no. So then I w- that was when I was in high school. So when I graduated, and then I moved to the city, and then that's why I trained at Marcelo's full time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check this one out right here because it's just as good, or maybe even better. Cheers.